Hey everyone, right now I'm inside the FPS multiplayer template by Multiplayscape. I'm going to show you guys the ins and outs of our game mode creator. So first, you'll go into single player, and you'll see our default game modes. Free for all, team deathmatch, capture the flag, conquest, and kill confirmed. With more coming soon. But right now, I'm going to be creating a new game mode in our game mode creator, so I'll click on this plus button right here. So now, I'm inside our options menu. First, you'll see the game mode tab. Here, on the mode name, you'll be able to change the name of the game mode. And I'm going to call it Fun Time. You'll see the grouping method. We have Team and Free For All. This is how you want to separate players. You'll see our spawning method. Again, this is going to be how you separate players, but on the map specifically. So right now we have Team and Random. Random applies better for a Free For All. Now we have the pregame slash round timer. This is going to determine how much time you have before a round starts. We have the limits section. This is going to show you the time limit that you have for each individual game. Right now, we have it set to 600, but you can make it uh, much longer, much shorter. And you can make it infinite. So next we have the respawn time. So this is how much downtime there is in between a death and respawning back into the game. Lastly, in the limit section, we have the score limit. That's how big can the score get before the game is over? Or do you want it to be infinite? Next, we have the game size. So that's where you can adjust how many players are in the game overall. Right now, we have a maximum of 32, but this is easily adjustable. Team quantity. How many teams do you want in your game? If I adjust this, the players per team at the bottom will automatically adjust in accordance. So if I change this to the maximum of six, there will be five players per team. So next we have an advanced tab. In the general here, you'll see friendly fire. Do you want that to apply damage to allies? Next you'll see weapon drop on death. Should the weapon drop onto the ground after a player dies? Allow team switching. And that's basically, do you want players to be able to switch teams mid-game? Lastly, in the general section, we have the camera death. And that's where you can decide what happens to your camera after you die. Do you want to watch the enemy who killed you from their third-person perspective? Do you want to look at the enemy who killed you from the perspective of where you died? Or do you want to watch a friend that is also playing? Or do you just want to stay on the place where you died and you're just looking at your corpse ragged all around? Next we have the round. You want there to be rounds in your game. Right now we have a maximum of 10. That's easily adjustable. And um, this is going to allow you to break up your game into rounds. And how many lives should players have per round? Infinite or maybe one? Maybe you want hardcore mode. And then do you want winning by two rounds before a game is over? Next we have the objective section. This is where things get interesting. You'll see points per kill. How many points do you want to attribute to killing a person. Next you'll see fallen object on death. That's where you can add a object that falls out of someone when they die. So that could be kill confirmed as a uh, game mode where you'll be collecting someone's um, dog tags when they die and that would give you the points. Um, or it could be a stock shield and that's just uh, where they can uh, drop a shield for you with the shields that they had in their inventory and you'll be able to pick them up and, and use them in the game. You can have both very easily. Next you'll see the objective section and right now you'll be able to click plus and it'll add an objective and in this drop down menu you'll be able to choose what it is flag control or bomb then next to this you'll be able to choose how many are on the map. Right now I is selected at three and you'll see three control points on the map. I can just set this to spawn for each team and now there will be six control points because remember in the game mode section we had six teams. So within this I can click on each of these and adjust how many points these are worth. So if I want this one to be worth five, boom, there it is. If I want them all to be worth five, very easy, I'm just going around here. The same thing is true for the flags. You can adjust each of these to your liking very easily. And the same thing with the bomb. Right here you can adjust how many points do you want that bomb to be worth. Our AI will automatically adapt to all of these objectives. They will be going after control points, flags, bombs, kill confirmed. They will be doing it all. And there's really no limitations in terms of your creativity, your imagination. 
we have the AI tab. You'll be able to adjust their difficulty, one through three, and this is going to affect the way that the bots perform, their aggressiveness, their accuracy, things of that nature. Next, you'll see auto-filling with AI. So basically, if I click this button, it's going to fill in this entire game with bots. Everybody but me on these six teams is going to be an AI player. And if I don't want auto-filling with AI, then I can choose the bot quantity on this slider here. Um, but I'm going to choose auto-fill. Next, I have the player abilities, the biggest category in the game mode creator. And right now we have the camera section. So this is, do you want it to be strictly a first person game, a third person game, or do you want it to be both? Gravity, it's going to allow you to, you know, have moon gravity if you want it, where you're just bouncing around very slowly, or uh, you can have higher gravity. Here you can adjust uh, your max health at the start of the game, your max health overall, your health regeneration. Do you want your players to be regenerating health or not? Then you can adjust the regeneration speed, how quickly does that health come back, re regeneration strength, um, how much health is applied at the speed above, and then you can adjust the delay. So how long is it going to take before the regeneration starts being applied? You'll see the shield section. Your max shield on start, max shield overall, your shield slot quantity, so the quantity of shields that the player starts with when he spawns, and just the maximum that he can store overall. And then next we have the movement section. So this is how fast your speed is. This is how high you're jumping. This is how many jumps can you do in a row. So do you want double jumps? Two. Do you want potentially 10 jumps? Next, we have the sliding duration, and uh, this is just how long do you want the player to be able to slide for. Ground friction. How much do you want this to feel like an ice skating rink, or how much do you want it to feel like they're uh, trekking through the mud? So that's your ground friction right here. Air control is how much control do you want them to have while they're in the air? So uh, when they're falling, when they've jumped, how much do you want them to be able to adjust which direction they're moving while they're in the air? Last, we have the HUD category and you will be able to see a death icon appear above players heads after they die you can choose if you want to see that or not um, you want to display the minimap and uh, do you want to show enemies on the minimap so those are your options for the HUD many more options coming soon yeah we've got a lot of things planned we're very excited now it will create this exact game mode that I've built in the game mode creator and then I will be in the pre-game section. I can choose my weapon. I can edit it. And I can choose what team I'm going to be on. So I'm going to hit start. Round one, because I chose rounds to be on. And yeah, as you can see, I've got multiple jumps. And I've got six teams. They're dropping stock shields that you can see here and they are set to easy so they're not the hardest ai in the world you can see the kill confirmed right there here's the stock shields and here's a control point that i'm capturing right now oh no don't kill me there it is and you can see over here i have a flag that i'm defending and i can go take my opponent's flags and there is a bomb site, right, as you can see right there, that red thing in the middle that I have. And those colors around the map are the plant diffuse zones. So you can see those right there. So as you can see, we've created a pretty interesting game mode. We're going to be adding a lot more in the future. The goal is to create a platform where people can create really any type of first person or third person shooter that they want to make very easily um, within our game mode creator and share and play that with others. So that's our mission and we look forward to pursuing it.